I think part of the political volume here, including some criticism from some Democrats who say he on occasion seems to be too cautious. He seems to want to have more analysis before he acts. Is because of something the president said last week where he was quoted as saying, we have no strategy yet. The president went through pains today, and he's right about this. He was asked a specific question about, is he prepared to launch strikes against ISIS targets, leadership targets, inside Syria, across the border from Iraq, inside Syria. That was the president's point when he said, I have no strategy yet. This morning, he tried to clarify that and again making clear that he will act, but not necessarily right away. It is very important from my perspective that when we send our pilots in to do a job, that we know that this is a mission that's going to work, that we're very clear on what our objectives are, what our targets are. We've made the case to Congress, and we've made the case to the American people, and we've got allies behind us. This is where you see the, the tension between caution on policy, caution in politics. The president's trying to make the case, if you're going to have sustained airstrikes, send American pilots into a sovereign country that's in the middle of a civil war, uh, you better make sure you have your targets clearly identified, that you have you know, a safety for those air routes going through, that hopefully you have international allies helping you with that. Uh, from a strategic point of sense, a military point of sense, a lot of people say that caution makes sense because this is so dicey. Politically, it tends sometimes to hurt the president because people think he's just debating, debating, and debating. People want to see action. They want to see a response. These, these gruesome videos are coming on, online. People are seeing these things. They want to see how the president is responding. When he says things like, we don't have a strategy yet, what they've, which are, they've clearly spent days trying to clean up, it does feed that perception that the president and the United States is not acting and responding to these threats. So that's going to be a challenge for him going forward and dealing with Congress, which is coming back to session next right. week and is going to ramp up its calls for the president to take a tougher yeah, line. Right. And as, as dispiriting as these Im images are and as, as sharp as the Republican criticism is, I mean, you have to sympathize with the president. I mean, defeating ISIS is not something that's going to happen overnight. It's not something that's going to happen in a week. This is a multi-month, multi-year project right. that includes foreign partners. It includes, uh, you know, Syria. It includes Iran. Like, there, there are so many different layers to this that the president is taking the sober approach, and you have to kind of sympathize with him on that, on the policy yeah. perspective. The politics of it, of course, are extremely dicey, and confronting Congress and asking for funds for these things is going to be problematic. Right. And right. so he has a number of questions. Right. Does he ask for specific permission from Congress for certain strikes? It appears to be if they decide to cross into Syria, the president has indicated he might do that.